Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. I'm making this video because someone asked on one of our videos, how do you turn on 4G on the GS3? Now, this is the Sprint version. We did flash it to Cricket, and we don't have LTE anyways in Austin yet. But I'm going to show you how to leave LTE as an option so your phone can actually discover uh, LTE networks and connect to them uh, if available. Go into your settings, I'm dropping down my notification bar, hitting the settings in the upper right. Now I'm scrolling, uh, actually you don't have to scroll any, just go to more settings right here under wireless and network. Now you can scroll down to mobile networks. You want to check use packet data so that you can actually get data over the network. Uh, this is automatic connections down here. Pretty much what this does is every once in a while it will search for remembered Wi-Fi networks. So pretty much when you get home uh, after 15, 30 minutes or whatever, it might detect your uh, home network and switch to it. That will save uh, battery life and uh, save data in case you're not on an unlimited plan. This works really well with our Cricut Wireless users. So go into network mode. Pretty much this is how you leave the option for LTE on. You set the preferred network mode as LTE slash CDMA. And then you'll get this message, reboot the phone if you change uh, any of this, these settings. Of course, since we're on Cricut Wireless, we're just going to keep it on CDMA. I didn't realize this would uh, be an issue until I thought about how users of the original Evo had a 4G toggle. And that was because you guys were on uh, WiMAX. Um, it's very common, especially with the... Verizon uh, devices just to have that LTE slash uh, CDMA mode available. So for more information about the US versions of the Galaxy S3, please visit our website at usgalaxyS3.com and like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel.